Hello everyone, welcome back. Finally, I got access to Adobe Firefly and I decided to do some experiment by combining it with GPT-4. First, I created a prompt for ChatGPT-4 so it could generate prompt for Adobe Firefly with minimal input. And trust me, the results are amazing. So let's have a look at prompt first. So the prompt structure is very much similar to my previous prompt, which you have seen it in Stable Diffusion, Leonardo AI or Mid Journey. But I have refined a lot of things in this prompt, removed unwanted stuff and updated the important points to note. So I made some changes here and there. And after refining this prompt, it is ready. So let's take this prompt and start creating images. So before I start, I just wanted to give you one more details that I'm working on another prompt, which will create a text effect uh, for Adobe Firefly. And you can create uh, effects like this. So you can have a look at here. So once that prompt is ready, I will create another video and post it so we'll see here i provided the prompt and i'm using model gpt4 so let's start asking for the prompt i'll go with very simple word just a landscape and see what we are going to get so with one single word it has generated three prompt as per the command so let's take this and start creating our images so i'll go to adobe firefly click on this text to image i'll provide my prompt here click on generate i'll go to this and change the wide screen 16 is to 9 because that's what Will look good here and i don't want any art i want content type to be none so let's see so these are the four images which was generated using our prompts so let's have a look here so these are really hyper realistic images looks really clean doesn't look like actually ai generated images that's great right so let's have a look at the prompt what was generated so you'll see that it has added a description then a camera detail then shutter speed and iso details so that was really great so other prompt was about watercolor painting. So let's have a look here. Uh, so images are really cool here. It does look like a watercolor painting images. So that's great, right? So let's go ahead and try generating some other prompts and we'll see the results. So I generated another two prompts. I just wrote a pixel art prompt and another one was alien spaceship design. So let's have a look here at the images. So you'll see here uh, when you do pixel art, it will generate images like this and it is smart enough to tag as well if you have anything like digital or pixel it it will tag on its own so let's have a look at the image another one was a uh, spaceship design so one very important point here is uh, you have this content type right if you keep the prompt same but if you change the content type you will get different kind of images so let's see here so this is with uh, no content type none so these are the images i was able to generate but if you select photo let's have a look here so with photo content type i'm able to generate images like this so you should always try with different content type if you select graphics you will get something like this and then you have art option so art looks also cool so look at this image this is really cool I and mean, i like this one and one more thing here is uh, so if you consider that if you like some images in this you have this so similar option here so if you click on this so similar it will change other three images based on this one so you can see here now it has generated another three images with something uh, similarities with the first images so let's have a look at this image that's nice right cool so i had generated two more prompts uh, one about nature photography and another was about uh, dreamland so let's have a look at the images uh, my feeling is that you know adobe firefly is really powerful it generates images really nice look at this one i mean this is amazing and one more thing i wanted to talk about uh, when you generate prompts sometimes you may have word in your prompt which is uh, restricted by adobe and we don't know which word is so you might have to change the entire prompt okay that's all for the day guys if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share with your friends and see you in the next video thank you